and a welcome to Confessions of a Refashionista. I'm Refashionista Sherry and I am here to show you how to live affordably, sustainably, because why? Being eco-friendly shouldn't cost the earth. <laughs> now, I am moving in just a couple of days, like another ginormous house move for me. <laughs> so clearly I have everything packed up. If you want all of my top low waste eco friendly tips and tricks for packing up a household, I shall link that video down below. But because I put a lot of work into this house, I thought it would be kind of bittersweet, I guess, <laughs> to do a final last house tour and uh, yeah, share with you all of the all of the kind of before and afters and cool little upcycled furniture and decor and all those DIYs with you guys. So um, I'm going to do that right now. I, uh, before packing up, took a bit of time and did a house tour. And I mean, clearly it is not looking the same now, but I'm literally moving in like, what, a couple of days. So <laughs> anywho, let's, uh, let's get started with, with my with my final house tour of this, this now what, third rental house in Toronto. <laughs> Let's really hope the next one is going to last a bit longer. And um, I've definitely learned my lesson and I shall not be putting so much work into, into rental houses anymore. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the tour. And uh, before that though, we do have to visit with this video to sponsor. Enjoy. Hey, yo, I'm Guy. I handle uh, logisticals and security for Sherry. And this here video is uh, sponsored by Sherry and Confessions of a Refashionista. So, uh, you know what? If you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe, throw a like, throw a dislike if you don't like it, because you know what? Every single engagement, comments, like, dislike, everything helps with the algorithm. So even dislikes are showing support. So uh, thanks very much for that. And uh, if you want to help her out even more, enroll in her e-course. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can get her very, very cheap e-books. Even though they're cheap, you know what? They're packed with a bunch of info and tutorials. Uh, you can also, if you like her style, get her to make something just for you with her refashionista boxes, shop her closet. All the links are down below. And uh, yeah, back to the video. This is Confessions of a Refashionista. So I thought we would just start with the door that we use most often to, you know, come in and out of the house. And actually, when we first moved in, the only lock on this door was this kind of, you know, the push in and turn handle lock. Didn't really feel super safe, so we went out pretty quickly and bought this deadbolt and installed it. Um, yeah, there's just, you know, a little trash to treasure upcycled chair that actually holds all of our, all of our weight so we can put our shoes on there. And not super exciting, so let's move on. When you come in, here is another trash to upcycled treasure that I did. And again, this table, of course, was just on the side of the road. I repaired it, painted it, and then did this very cool kind of patchwork mosaic on top with uh, the bits of Japanese scrappy kimono fabric that I had left. And it does, of course, go perfectly with the patchwork wall hanging that I made when I was still living in Germany. Over here is just <laughs> some very easy art that, I mean, anyone can do this. It is just a frame. Then I put some funky fabric and a very cool little doily, which I am hilariously now noticing is upside down. <laughs> here is more scrappy kimono silk fabric art and another kind of wall hanging that I made. All of these tutorials can of course be found in my tutorials for the Nest Index and they're all super simple. Let's just speed through here quickly. And 
There is the backyard area. I shall include um, a link to the video of the back patio makeover we did because, I mean, it's winter-ish time now and not really, you know, showing how wonderful it truly looks in the summer after the lovely makeover we did. This is just some funny little kind of art pieces my kiddo made when she was younger and we had to hang something on the window because birds kept flying into it and um yeah it works it's cute so now i can say welcome to my little studio and um yeah there's one side <gasps> there's the other side <laughs> now let's go in for a bit more detail this is actually the bed canopy that i made for my kiddo when we first moved to canada and i'll put the tutorial for you guys as well this it used to be an appliance uh, box and now it is this fantastic canopy and of course she grew she got a bigger bed so now it uh, has a nice little kind of comfy chair in it in my studio there is my kiddo's desk for when she does some work alongside me here is my little tiny table where I actually shoot my tutorial videos. So this arm here, you can uh, kind of see my little <laughs> DIY that I did with zip ties. <laughs> so this holds my phone and my camera, and then I can move it up and down and goes there, and there you go. There's my hands doing a tutorial, and I'm narrating as I'm going. Uh, tripod, ring light. Something I will really miss about this place is all of this built-in storage because, I mean, I can have all of my fabrics in there. That's wonderful. Oh, right. The fireplace that I painted and it just looks so wonderful. And I did actually use, of course, fireplace paint. Um, and it's just, it's amazing how, how, you know, a fresh coat of white paint can really brighten up just about anything. And this isn't some more fabric art that I created. Again, all of these tutorials are available in my Tutorials for the Nest Index on my site for free. And more built-in storage. And here is, this is kind of a basket of on-the-go projects. I mean, I have another pile over there. I do try to keep my stuff neat, as neat as possible. And there is a lovely plain white wall. And I just hung up a curtain rod here. And this is where I hang up my green screen for when I do any kind of green screen work. This is just a cute little sofa bed, and I, you know, didn't like it, the plain cover, so I made a patchwork one for it. <laughs> Over on the other side, we have, of course, printer, office -y stuff, and the magic machine, and another magic machine, and of course, ba Baby Yoda, you know, helps me to, to sew. Um, my photo art collage wall, and I always, you know, like to have just stuff that I can look up at and it's like thrifted art, DIY art, and of course a bunch of art my kiddo made for me as well. Here is uh, that table, another trash to treasure find, and pardon Mr. Jack licking there. Um, <laughs> and here another trash to treasure find. <laughs> My uh, lovely shrank. I'm sorry, I always forget the English word for shrank. Um, I guess this would be more of a sideboard than a cupboard, but I mean it holds absolutely everything and it's fantastic for storage. And la la! my desk and of course my lovely desk chair which hey the tutorial for that one went viral more than a few times so i guess that was a good that was a successful one <laughs> um yeah more sneaky snacky kind of stuff here like i said i just really like to have a warm inviting cozy place to do my work and having all of this stuff around me you know it just makes you feel makes you feel nice and at home Moving right along over here, 
This is a bunch of my makes that I actually have up for sale in my <laughs> online shop. And here is where I do the packaging up when I make my sales and just some more accessories I made. Uh, there is the lovely little mannequin that I got at a thrift store in Germany that made it all the way over here with me that uh, she wears everything in my in my photos for my online shop. And oh, my scrappy monsters live here. I'm not sure what to do with them. I don't know if I should sell them or I just love them so much. <laughs> la la. Oh, here's another another basket of things that I have kind of ideas for, but I'm not really sure. And then under the table, refashionista stash, which I do try to keep rather organized um, and not let get too out of hand. You know, these kind of big basket bins are very helpful for that. <laughs> and, oh, there is some more some more stuff that I have made and is for sale in my, my little shop. <laughs> Let us check out the laundry room now. Now, the laundry room, I mean, it's a laundry room, furnace room, a what can you do? But, you know, we did actually try to make it look nicer. So uh, here, let's take a look at what it looked like before. So let's have a peek inside and oh my God! The washing machine has been pulled out and uh, yeah, that's definitely going to get a great big scrubbing as well <laughs> as the wall looks kind of creepy and terrifying. It's kind of like serial killer dungeon-y looking right now, except for the, the cheerful artwork by my kiddo that I put up on the walls. And after now I mean again it's nothing super special and again we didn't because we rent we really didn't want to do too much work this is just like little pantry here oh there is the pickles that I have on the go there and you know here's just Jack's little little water area down here oh la la here's kind of where the makeover happened the cupboards look so much better. The handles look so much better. We did get some really cool eco sinks and replace the old broken sinks that were there. And of course, loved clothes last, my little art that I used the leftover scraps from the wallpaper detail that we put there because it was just kind of gross, that wall. And I also recovered the shelf here. Uh, put a little kind of funky red lightning bolt on the wall to match the red handles of the cupboard. And um, yeah, on the side here is a cute little chalkboard, you know, it says laundry is the real never ending story. Ha ha! <laughs> With my kind of awkward, awkward drawing of a luck dragon. <laughs> But I think it's pretty cute. And then, of course, you know, excess storage and everything. Uh, yeah, nothing too exciting, but it's a laundry room and it's functional and it looks so much better than it did before. <laughs> Moving right along. Oh, here, I forgot to show. This is actually a built-in bar and we we don't drink, we don't party, so it's kind of useless for us. So instead, it was transformed into a rather funky little office -y area for the kiddo. So she has, you know, her dolls in there, her office chair. She can sit in there and do her art if she wants to. And this funky gold curtain, I mean, just picked that up at the local dollar store and uh, trimmed it to fit. I mean, it's very cool, though. <laughs> uh, there's some more stuff for sale. Oh, and there is my lovely table that I created from an old chair and a vintage suitcase. Again, tutorials are over on the site. This closet, of course, has more of my items for sale as well as more of my refashionista stash and my characters also hang up in here. So here we have Gladys. 
here, oh, over here is, is uh, Frau Ingeborg is over here, her two, two different but very similar dresses that she wears. <laughs> oh, and this is Francoise, you know, my makeup artist. Um, yeah, so that's pretty fun. And I'm just thinking, are we, are we ready to head upstairs yet? Let's see. Oh, here is, of course, just the downstairs bathroom. Kind of plain, simple. Um, I did try to liven it up a little bit with some of my my things that I still had from my travels and living in Japan and uh, touring around Asia. And because these cupboards were absolutely horrible actually and quite stained and not so nice looking anymore I did go ahead and just put some of that sticky back uh, wallpaper on them with an Asian theme to it so yeah I mean it's okay it's just a little bathroom it's functional it works does the job <laughs> okay uh oh another mirror hello this again Another trash to treasure find that, uh, well, we found on the side of the road and then, um, yeah, finger painted it. <laughs> Pretty cool. And a closet to hang up our coats. And let us go upstairs. Pardon the construction sounds outside. And here we are in the front door landing. La la. And this here are a couple of old Ikea tables that we actually just cut in half. And you see down there, oops, attached to the wall with some little L brackets. And they're uh, great little plant stands. Ta -da! Up here, we have another trash to a treasure makeover. And inside this little stool is all of our kind of shoe laces and shoe shining stuff. <laughs> And of course, masks and pictures. And there are the other halves of those tables. <laughs> and this is the door to the balcony. Uh, should we do living room or kitchen? Living room or kitchen? Let's do kitchen first. And here you can see my groovy kind of a Death Star Ta -da! lamp. I love that so much. <laughs> and of course my wonderful thrifted vintage kitchen table and more kind of hilarious artwork, some more fab, very vintage if not antique decor from Germany. Um, here's a quick tip. If your kiddo grows out of their socks and you have a bunch of them, then why not simply use them as kind of floor savers on, uh, you know, your, your chair legs. So because these are a little bit too big, you know, for the chairs, I just uh, wrapped an elastic around them and then... <laughs> My kiddo says they look like, you know, 80s leg warmers, and <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. And uh, again, if you don't have a kiddo, you can pick up like baby socks and packs of small socks at your local discount shops and charity shops, and it all kind of works exactly the same. All right, the kitchen. Now, I shall also link below to the kitchen makeover that we did. And it is a, quite a dramatic makeover. And here is some more fantastic chalkboard wallpaper. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, be prickly and sweet. La la! Oh, and here, another trash to treasure find here where we keep our uh, recycling bins <laughs> is this a cool little fireplace surround. And then on top, are my upcycled dinosaur storage jars. <laughs> and if you do not have a dishwasher like us, I highly recommend investing in one of these. I mean, it's not a huge investment. They're quite cheap, but they definitely are awesome for doing the dishes and keeping everything out of the way. Here is some more chalkboard. No one is born a great cook. One learns by doing, and that is Julia Child. 
and here just keep calm and wash on. <laughs> and again, in the kitchen makeover video, it does go through step by step everything that, uh, that was done and it was a lot. <laughs> so now let's move to the living room. We have these kind of cool string uh, rainbow curtains here, which I just love. So when we come in here, we have the lovely Lord Jack portrait that I designed, as well as my family paper mache masks. And again, this tutorial is over on my site as well. Plus my coffee can lampshade and lamp makeover and some more fab vintage furniture from Germany that came over with us. There's more of my, uh, funky little pieces from when I lived in Japan. And yeah, this this adorable little teacup garden. Again, all these tutorials you can find on my site. It's more of my art. These old windows were actually in the attic of our house in Berlin. <laughs> and yeah, we were allowed to bring them with us. So I cleaned them up and everything. And now they're very, very cool picture frames. Uh, what else? Moving over to the other side here, I shall dearly miss this. So hopefully I will be able to get another one. This is our giant artistic map of Berlin. And again, I shall link for the tutorial on how we did this in uh, collab with Photo Wall. So that was pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, here's another one of my famous, infamous DIYs, the wingback chair makeover, as well as look at this amazing functional spinning wheel, again, found on the side of the road. And of course, the awesome vintage chest that I inherited from Tanta Ushi. Uh, our nice curtains, of course, are coming with us to the new place. And there's our little front balcony. Um, <laughs> more, more vintage shranks, cupboards, and furniture that came over from Germany. Another, another rainbow string curtain. Oh, I forgot to show here my, more of my funny little art there. Uh, hmm. These tables, again, are something that I made in Germany and they came with us. And this radio kind of storage unit that I created is, uh, you know, again, another roadside find and <laughs> transformation. And it's uh, pretty cool. And again, tutorial is over on my site. What else, what else, what else do we have to show? Uh, some more little groovy vintage art and a bit of a kitcheny makeover here on the side of the cupboards. Hmm, turn the light and here we have the little hallway with, you know, some family pictures here. Bathroom, again, just, just a bathroom, except for this awesome uh, cupboard medicine cabinets, uh, bathroom, bathroom shrank. <laughs> I can't, I can't remember. What is the word for shrank? <laughs> and yeah, so again, another roadside find. And again, tutorial is of course on the website. <laughs> uh, oh, here's another cool vintage mirror that came over from Germany. And now let's pop into my kiddo's room. In my previous house tour, her room had her little bed with the appliance box canopy. And now she has a normal size, you know, big girl bed. <laughs> and so I then took a big piece of bamboo that I just had around the house, plus some net curtains, and uh, just sewed the net curtains together, hung up the bamboo, kind of put it over the top there, and made this really nice little kind of canopy. And I had some of these little petals in my stash, so I just glued them to the outside of the curtains and then added these really cute little tissue flowers. And there is her birthday map 
of Berlin. It's a map of the area where she was actually born. And we have some art. And again, all of these like shelves that you see, we found you know, on the side of the road or on trash day, the same with this mirror that I just painted. I mean, all of these things were just ugly and needed a clean and then a cool paint job. Uh, the same here with this absolutely awesome shelving unit. And of course, her amazing desk, which was once a sewing machine table and it is pretty pretty amazing so i shall see can i move her computer and she's not going to be too mad at me and move the picture and if i open this up carefully ah, you can see Inside here, we added these nice little boxy shelves for kind of a super secret storage because I found this sewing machine on the side of the road or this sewing machine table and uh, the sewing machine was missing and the table wasn't in great condition anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I of course brought it home, took off all the kind of electrical bits, cleaned it up and gave it this awesome paint job with my splatter paint technique. It did the same to the chair. And her little bookshelves here, just some more. It's just, you know, it's just a cute little, cute little girl room. Oh yeah, and uh, together she and I actually painted each of her walls a different color. Um, so we'll have to do that again, I guess, in the new house. And uh, yeah, here's curtains I made for her out of uh, some thrifted fabric and vintage lace. Now we can head on over to my room. And, do we need the light on? No, oh, why not? Here you can see I have my yukata from Japan and my geta. Uh, and, I mean, of course, most of this stuff, again, trash to treasure finds, thrifted finds that I painted and upcycled. And, oh, here is my amazing ladder wardrobe that was upcycled from a vintage ladder and just, you know, cut it and everything. Under there, you can see that is a thick piece of bamboo held up on the ladder rungs by chains, and it is super duper sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And yeah, just scrap wood for the shelf on top. And because it used to be a ladder, it has all of these extra space for storage on the sides where I can hang up my belts, my bags. It's quite cool. And then, of course, my lovely vintage vanity that I got very cheaply at a garage sale and all I had to do was clean it up and recover the chair which again of course all of these tutorials are on my site um oh another trash to treasure whoop bleh, bleh, trash to treasure transformation here is my groovy vintage laundry hamper and it was in pretty bad shape so I cleaned it up painted the trim and uh, recovered it and gave it a very nice lining and the same here this stool we found in the trash as well and it got a glorious makeover um here's my fab little scarf storage and here is a big big tip spice racks from thrift stores are so cheap and they make fabulous knickknack shelves for all of your little schnicky schnacky and everything. And you know, anytime if you see some art at a thrift store that you like, but maybe the frame is horrible, get it and just, you know, repaint the frame. Like, how gorgeous is that needlepoint? It is so beautiful. The frame was awful though, so I just painted it with some paint I had on hand. Um, what else, what else? Oh yes, my awesome DIY hat wall storage hanger thingy is pretty cool and again this dresser was another you know roadside find and i simply gave it a good scrub painted the drawers and because the top was less than stellar i used the same technique as i did for the table downstairs and uh, yeah just did a cool little patchwork on it and it is super super sturdy and you know lacquered over so i can actually wipe it and clean it and everything um 
Yeah. Oh, and here, the last piece of the ladder from my <laughs> from my little DIY, well, not so little, uh, vintage dress storage <laughs> wardrobe there. I uh, use it as a bookshelf. And to create this, look, all you have, all you need is a piece of ladder and then a piece of belt. And you just screw that into the wall, put it around, screw it into the wall, and it, it holds it fine. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah. I will link below, of course, to the actual full-on step-by-step tutorials for all of this. I mean, even my bed got a makeover. The headboard is actually made out of uh, cut-up closet doors that, again, were just kind of a roadside find type of situation, the closet doors, and I just really like the look of that now. Uh, this was another another table, um, garage sale table, and it got a fab makeover, and it is super duper cool. The same with this little chair here, another garage sale find. Uh, you really can, you know, furnish your home from, you know, <laughs> cool stuff you find on the side of the road. And then here, the scrappy little wall hangings are super simple to make and just, you know, add a little bit of color, especially if you're a renter and you can't really do anything, you know, make make some of these. And again, all the tutorials are on my site. There's a little owl one. And of course, the kiddo has a cool floral one. And uh, yeah, I guess that is is about it for the house tours. You can grab all of the upcycles and DIYs mentioned in my tutorials for the Nest Index. I have linked it down below. Go head on over there, have a leisurely scroll, grab some inspiration, and uh, yeah, remake stuff in your house. Don't buy new, reuse, refashion, recycle, upcycle, all that good stuff. And if you want even more inspiration and tutorials, pop on over to my refashionistasherry.com. Like, absolutely everything is over there. And yeah, fingers and toes crossed that this move is going to be nice and simple and easy, even though it is, just looking out the window, it is like super snowy outside. So I hope it melts a little bit. And uh, yeah, until next time, <laughs> stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch ya on the zigzag. <laughs>